our kids deserve the best of the best always and this was another tool that teachers have at their disposal to provide that for our kids so if they need a break from class if they are feeling tense and they just need to let loose and relax a bit this is another tool that we've given teachers and students to use for that purpose it's been a nice addition to our culture and it really you, you, can't, you can't help but smile when you see kids hopping along on this thing they actually did a whole writing prompt for me so like this student had amazing, mindful, relaxing fun. The sensory walk is fun, it's amazing. It makes me happy, I can relax when I'm doing the sensory walk. Also, when I enter the school, I feel happy instantly when I see it. I cannot stop smiling, that's how I feel as well. Uh, also, when I enter the hallway, I'm happy again. And that was written by one of our students in there. Their favorite was like the hot lava. I told you, the hot lava was a hit. Um, and then, to bring in some literacy, we also have the Hungry Caterpillar from Eric Carl. Um, with the numbers, we have our odd numbers are all red, our even numbers are all blue. So the way they can use this, they can either walk number to number, or I tell them to skip odds and evens, because it's a lot of fun to do that. Sometimes kids come down on their own, as you have my two students here doing it. Um, they get a pass from a teacher, they come down, they walk it, they go back to class, get some of that energy out, and then they get... Uh, they have the ability to be more focused that way. But we've also had teachers from our younger classes and our older classes combine and do buddy sensory walks. So kids from the older grades are coming down and taking a buddy on the walk and they're talking about how school's going, how the bus was, how lunch is going to be, whatever. Um, it's been a really uh, positive change for Paige. It's been awesome.